you are familiar with the term branching and merging it is the high time to teach you what are the best practices that you should follow when you are branching and merging and you will learn how to create pull requests there are a lot of things you are going to learn in this session so please pay your attention at this moment git is initialized in this folder and i can show you with the command git status there you go we have some changes that we need to add so let's do that with what we're going to do we are going to add the changes git add dot so we are adding all the changes and then what we're going to do we're going to make our first commit here let's say git hyphen m and this is going to be our first commit okay that's fine so far we have one commit and we can check the commit history by saying git log one line there you go we can see one commit fair enough so let's try to understand how to do the best practices or how to follow the best practices when you are merging and branching so at this moment how many branch we have can you say that of course i know you can say that at this moment we have one branch which is the master branch and we can check that by saying git branch and there you go at this moment you can see there is one branch we have so let's say you are working in an e-commerce project where you need to add many features so what is the good things to do first of all try to understand you are here in the master branch maybe i can draw it somewhere and let's say this is commit one and we are working in the master branch okay fair enough so you should always keep the master branch let's say fresh and deployable that everything is functional so let's say you want to add a feature for maybe login so what will be the good things to do you are going to create a branch from this master branch and let's give a name so you can say anything for an example i'm going to say feature slash login branch this is going to be the name of the branch and here i'm going to make the changes i'm going to you know implement the feature for the login maybe i have to make let's say a few commits here i'm just giving an example let's say this will be my first commit and then there will be my second commit and after that i'm done adding the after that i'm done like implementing the feature then what i will do i will march back to this master branch that's what we will do so this is the good practice you are not going to work in the master branch and add all the features so let's say there are 10 people all of them are not going to do the same thing maybe somebody else is going to let's say implement the feature of logout so let's say they will create a branch called feature logout and then that branch will need let's say in order to finish this logout feature they need to do few commits so let's think like that they are going to add few commits here to implement this feature let's say this is the first commit they're making to implement the logout feature they are making few more commits let's give like two at this point and when they are done what they're going to do remember this is our master branch so when they are done they will just merge with the master branch that's all this is how we do parallel develop development so that when somebody else making the changes it does not affect the master branch when they're done with their work they will just pull the request they will say master can you see the changes that i made and can you pull it so this is something we're going to see in real life so let's start with the first one we are going to create a branch called feature login this is what we are targeting at the beginning so let's create a branch we know how to do that and we are going to switch to that branch so we could use git checkout but let's continue with the branch so we are going to name a branch called feature slash login and there you go now if we check how many branches we have we have two branches and this one this asterisk make sure where we are we are in the master branch so we want to move to the feature login branch and we know how to do this let's continue by using git switch or checkout and then we can say feature slash login there you go and now i have switched to the feature login branch as you can see it is confirming here good job and now what we can do we can add the login feature so for an example for that what i'm going to do here i'm going to say login feature i'm just you know putting some basic thing here that's all and then i'm going to add a paragraph let's use a paragraph here and let's add some text here inside the paragraph okay so let's say this is going to be my first commit in this branch let's say git add dot and then we are going to say git commit hyphen m and this is going to be our html for login feature let's put it like this so it's a bit meaningful commit that i have at this moment and then still let's think like that this login feature is not finished so what i'm going to i'm going to add style.css here style.css and let's add some css for this one 
but before that let's check this h2 that we have we're going to just select the h2 and let's keep a color let's say red so now that i have added some changes for this uh, like uh, implementing this feature of login so what we're going to do we are going to edit we are going to commit it this time i'm going to say css let's call it add css we should use add remove you know fixing those type of keyword at the beginning just imperative things add css for login feature there you go now it's a good things we have done maybe i'm going to add one more let's add index.js file here index.javascript and then maybe what i can do here just console log now okay so let's say login that's all nothing else and now i have to add this to my javascript to the css html file and there you go we can add the javascript one here there you go now that i made some changes what are the good things always make change add the change and commit it and this time i'm going to say add javascript for login feature fair enough so we made three commits in this branch so let me add one more just to keep up with this example okay so we have one more commit that we made and now that we are done what we can do always remember that if you are like connected with remote repository you should always always full now at this moment we are not connected with remote repository right so what we should do you know what actually we should do we should connect this one to the remote repository so let's do that what i'm going to do i will switch to the main branch again git checkout or master and there you go we have switched back and everything is gone of course because we have not marched this is okay First of all, let's do one thing. We are going to connect with the remote repository. So here I'm going to create a remote repository. First of all, here, let's create it. Let's call e-commerce branching e-commerce. So this is going to be the project that we are going to work. So let's say e-commerce branch and then I'm going to create it. Let's just go down below. Let's create the repository. And now we can connect this to the local repository. We have done quite many times. Just copy this and then paste it here we know how to do these things so there you go now it should push all the changes that we made to the remote repository and let's reload and let's have a look so i'm going to go to the remote repository give me a moment there you go it should be somewhere here that we are using and this is where we have basically need to reload and now we have pushed all the changes to our remote repository so this will be our initial stage okay fair enough now that we are connected always we should git pull this is very important so that you get all the update things from your remote repository okay and now what we'll do we'll go back or we'll switch back to the branch that we were working which is the feature slash login and now we are back okay so what we should do before merging this feature login branch remember we made change and we want to merge it to the master branch but before merging what will be good things to do to so switch back to the master branch but one more thing remember that we have renamed this master into main and when do you do this when we basically connected with remote repository we have done this and if you recall if you do not recall maybe you can go back a little bit back to this video and then you will see that there was a line where we basically renamed master into main when we connected to the remote repository okay i can show you the command here this is the command we have used earlier and this is where basically we have renamed the master into main okay fair enough let's continue now so what basically i want to do here let me get rid of the things that we have so first of all we have finished our feature dot login feature slash login things so what we want to do we want to merge but before merging always go to the main branch so let's go back our master branch i'm going back to the main branch and i'm going to pull if there is anyone maybe they have pushed some recent changes to our remote repository so when we are working somebody might you know push something here so this is that's why it's always better to pull the changes first okay and now we can see everything up to date again i'm going back to the feature login branch okay and here i'm going to march so git march to the main branch and when I will merge, it says you are already up to date. So try to understand what basically is happening here. We need to push. We are going to push this branch to our remote repository that we have worked. Okay. So let's push this feature. Git push feature. And we can say slash login. And let's push. But remember that we have 
not use here origin let's try to put the url that we are going to push the changes and there you go now that we have pushed these changes to this remote repository so basically again try to understand what we did we push all the changes to the github or to the remote repository so i'm going to write it here remote repo or github so it's still the same thing right and now from here what we need to do we push all the code to the remote repository we need to ask the main branch hey can you pull the request or can you pull the changes that i made so i'm asking them to create like i'm asking them to accept the changes that i made and this is where you need to create a pull request so i'm going to show you here you can see that somebody has pushed a branch okay and it's me i'm going to create a pull request and when I'm creating the pull request, I can add some reviewers so they will review the pull request if they're happy, they will accept or maybe they will give some commands back. Or I can assign this task to somebody for reviewing or to, or to check this pull request that I'm making. Now here also you can leave some description. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just go down below here. I can add a few more things like leveling. This is going to be a feature that I added. So I can say for an instance from here, let me go down below. This is just an enhancement that I made. So new feature or request has been added. And let me show you what I have done here. Again, I have selected this enhancement and I'm going to create the pull request. That's all. So after that, we create the pull request. What will happen? Let's go back to the main branch and you can see that it will show pull request. So after that, we made a pull request. Now, whoever has the authority or whoever is controlling the main branch, let's say in a team of 10 members, there will be one or two person or three person, let's say senior developer or somebody is in the higher authority. They can review the pull request that you made. So you are saying, I'm done with the feature login. Can you check it and can you merge it to the main branch? That's why you create the pull request. And now they will open your pull request. They will check everything. If they're happy, they will, you know, merge this pull request. If they're not happy, they're maybe going to give you some feedback and they're going to say, hey, we are going to, you know, we are not happy. Maybe you need to make more some changes, you know, in order to like complete this feature. That's what they can do. Okay. So let's complete this one and we are going to merge this pull request. So somebody is merging the pull request and when it's done, it will show in this like main branch. So pull request successfully merged and close. This is good. Let's go back. And again, I'm going back to the main branch. Now there is no pull request open. And it's saying here we merge the pull request. And again, you can see all the branches that we have. It will show all the branches that we have and when it was merged. Let me go back and I want to show you all the commit history that we have. So we have five commits in this moment. When we are merging, there is one more commit is created here. We can see that. That's great. So this is the good practice you need to follow every time when you want to do something, create a branch and then make commit and then, you know, push those branch, push that branch to the GitHub repository and create a pull request. Now I'm going to review everything one more time. Let's say I want to add a feature called logout. So what I'm going to do, let's go back to the main branch first of all. And if we go back to the main branch, let's git checkout to the main. Oops, no, this is not the right command. We need to use git checkout main. So I'm going to find that command, there you go. And now when we'll go back git checkout main, you can see everything is lost. But remember, this is a very important point. In the remote repository, we have a lot of things that we do not have in the local repository because we did not pull the log, the remote changes that we made or we did not pull the latest changes from our GitHub repository or remote repository. So let's use git pull and this will make sure everything is coming from the remote repository. OK, and now let's create a new branch. So before creating branch, before creating the pull request before pushing the changes always use git pull this is very important things to recall okay so let's create a branch here we are going to create a branch call let's call it feature slash logout and there you go now it says uh, the feature logout did not match let's create the branch actually we missed the hyphen b flag and now this is going to create the logout branch that's good and what we're going to do we're going to make a small changes let's add this Let's say this is going to be a like h2 tag and let's say logout is added. So this is going to be a very basic command commit and basic things to do. So let's say git commit 
hyphen let's add the changes first and then we're going to make a commit let's say git commit hyphen m logout is added add html for logout okay for logout great and now i'm feeling that my work is done at least let's add some css for this logout so maybe i am going to go to the css file and let's say here okay let's go to the css file and this time let's add some css it's just unnecessary anyway maybe we're going to use some asterisk here and let's say margin is zero okay so let's say this is what i need to do for my logout okay so now that i added some css let's add some commit for this one we have and make some changes so add the changes make a commit let's say add css for logout there you go now we made the commit we are happy with everything so what do we want to do we want to push this branch because we are done so just like before you want to push this to the github repository or to the shared repository so let me just write it on git repo okay and then you can create a pull request so let's do that first of all we are going to go to the main always to pull the local change to pull the remote changes or the latest changes because might be somebody else already pushed something so let's check i'm going to the main branch i'm going to pull again to check the local uh, latest branches and now i can see everything is up to date so i'll head back to the you know check uh, the logout branch again so git checkout feature slash logout and now what we can do we can push the changes git push origin and let's push this feature logout branch to our remote repository okay so git push origin and then feature logout so it's saying the origin something is wrong origin so there is a typo no problem we fix this and now all the changes should go to the github repository so we push the git changes to the github repository and now we'll come back and we'll follow the same procedure we need to create a pull request so as a developer i'm going to create a pull request i can leave some message i can add some description i can add the levels so this is something you can do but i'm not going to do this time and i'm just going to create a pull request okay so i am i'm requesting the authority whoever maintaining this main repository hey the changes that i made can you check it and can you accept the changes if you are okay so that you know the, that this feature logout branch or feature logout feature that i added it will be merged to the main branch that's what is called parallel development and also following the best practices so many people can work in the same procedure and now there is one pull request open so whoever is uh, like managing this github repo whoever has the authority or the privilege to you know review the pull request and also margin the pull request they will check all the changes if they are happy then they are going to merge the pull request so basically they are accepting the feature that you implemented that's all it's merged if there is no conflict it will be merged and now we can go back and check there will be like few branches at this moment we have feature login and feature logout that's a beautiful things we have done and i hope you have learned the best practices when branching and merging and also creating the pull request.